Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Republic Commando. I am Cal Scarada as Delta Yate or Boss. Um, what we just got our orders from HQ. We have the kill bugs. That's pretty much the gist of this entire game. They're going to give you objectives and stuff. What you sense you gotta do is shoot until everyone's dead. So, we are going to be shooting. But I mean, I'm just sort of surprised LucasArts sort of left this. Star Wars doesn't really seem to be a first person shooter type of game. It's, I mean, like, Star Wars is cool and everything, it's all hip yo. But, um, I'm surprised that Jerry's Lucas was alright with having his game invented as a first person shooter. I don't really understand that. Star Wars has always been some sort of, like, third-person action game, maybe. But, like, not a first-person shooter. I'm not complaining. Like I've said before, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely one of my most favorite first-person shooters. But, um, I'm just sort of surprised that it's a Star Wars game in which you're a first-person shooter. Like, you'll shoot enemies, like, you'll, you'll melee them gore splatter on your helmet. I mean, it's not really that graphic or anything. But in all honesty, it's a Star Wars game. I mean, when you grew up watching stars, you guys think, like, I can't wait until this becomes a bloody gory video game. I, I, I never suspected it. I mean, like, maybe something like Battlefront 2 or something, where, like, third-person shooter or something. But, like, not a first-person action game or anything. It, I mean, I'm, I just said before, I'm not complaining, I'm just... I don't think it was the best decision for George Lucas on this part. Especially since they were probably never going to release a sequel to this game, but the game begs a sequel. So... I mean, like, they could have... I'm not going to go ranting about this again. They can do so much more with this game than they really did. I They need a sequel. And if they don't get a sequel, I don't... If we don't get a sequel, I'm probably going to go up to their to the, whatever company that developed this game, kidnap them, force them to develop a new game, wipe their minds, and then play the game. That's what I'm gonna do. And there's nobody that can stop me. For I am Kyle Scarata, the invisible video gamer. And if you try to stop me, I will destroy you. I will hack your gamer type, and I will steal all your Xbox points, and I will buy useless game stuff on your console. I will give you the red ring of death three times over, and watch as your blood pressure rises. I am Skarata! Six two is always down. Six two is probably the most um the weakest character in this entire video game. If whenever one of your characters goes down, it's most likely going to be six two. He's really good at blowing stuff up, but he can't shoot for anything. If he was inside a house, he could not hit the wall. You could probably find a way to like get the bullet through the wall and hit and hit his ally on the other side. This pistol only thing's really starting to annoy me. I mean, it's sort of it's sort of a good weapon-ish. It's really good against battle droids and everything, but it's annoying. Yeah, it should only get seven consecutive shots before it has to recharge. Um, it takes like four shots to kill any given enemy. I'm just, I'm just scared for when we have to fight those super battle droids, or not the super battle droids, the um, spider droids. This game is going to get really crazy. Some of these later levels, I'm probably going to be dying 50 times over. Like when I first played this game, I died 50 times over on some of these levels. Um, like this level right here, I got stuck on this for maybe about six months. I'd be playing it for the first three I spent trying to get past it. Um, the other three I spent sulking never playing this game because I knew I'd never be able to get past this level. 
What now, sucker? I'm beating this level with a pistol. Future me is way better than past me. I can do anything. And now we are setting a charge again. Oh my gosh. One. Pop. Loom. I gotta admit, the explosions are pretty nice. This was probably about a mid-life Xbox game. And I think those are some pretty nice explosions for such a game. What's that? What the? Why is everybody... Okay. Why is... So, what the... What's he doing? I blew open the door. I'm supposed to walk through it. That's what doors are for, you know? There's like a hole in the wall. And then you use it to get from one room to the next by walking. Amazing, isn't it? That's the one another thing. The checkpoints freeze the game up. Yeah, it's it's a little bit more noticeable than Halo. Yeah, um, but it, it's just sort of annoying, especially when you're in the middle of a firefight and it's like to save, and then you're already pulling on the thing so that when or the control stick so that when it decides to stop saving, you're like. survive longer than these people have. I mean, like, they were alone, and they'll get alone missions eventually. But I mean, like, if they were really alone, where, like, you could see them and everything, they would probably be, like, really dead. Like, 20 times over, with no one to revive them, they'll just be standing there. They can't do anything without you. You are their savior. I'm not gonna do it. Make you do it. Because I'm a meanie. You've got to be kidding me. This is this is easy, right? One second. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. I mean, these people have never died so quickly before. I mean, they died a whole lot, sure, but it's never like been like that much. I mean, I'm stuck. There we go. And now Poro's dead. But he deserved it. He looks like me. <sighs> Killing bugs. Oh my gosh! Stop dying, you stupid clones! You're special for us. My grandmother could probably survive longer than you could. And you're supposed to have this super hardened carton armor stuff. I mean, really, didn't weren't you supposed to be trained by some sort of super oh? You're you're trained by these super uber peoples. 